So we are live here in Des Moines right now, and Dr. Cherney uh, is going to show you something that you hear about all the time, but you never had a chance to experience it until now. And uh, first of all, you had a decent fair. Well, we understand you had a lot of people showing up. I'm like disappointed that it's over. I had a great time. <laughs> yeah. By the way, in case you didn't see, uh, I know I thought this would be a repellent for his booth at the fair, uh -huh. but apparently people paid attention to what was going on at the fair. Look at hey. you got double churnies there. There we go. That looks pretty cool. <laughs> but here's the part. Here, now here's, what I put, now here's the, th the thing that really caught my attention. <laughs> That's really cute. We took the picture of Dr. Churney with the cutout here. That's very cool. So I'm walking back to the back of the booth, and I see the other side of that. Uh, cut out. It's us again. So in case people throw stuff at the front <laughs> side of it, he can spin it around. <laughs> spin that's it around. right. Brilliant. That's brilliant. Right. I'm telling you, that was brilliant. I appreciate brilliant. that very much. Okay, so today we're kind of focusing on, obviously, plastic surgery is your your protege Specialty, of what you're yeah. good at. Yep. Uh, but we're focusing on liposuction today. Now, when I typically yes. think of liposuction, I'm thinking, especially for a woman, yeah, I'm thinking lower. I'm thinking belly. maybe belly, thighs, things like that. But you've yes. enlightened us that there's some places higher up that can also that's right. be under this procedure. That's right. Uh, basically, you get liposuction in a lot of places if the skin tone is good and if the skin looks like it's going to be able to shrink afterwards. And it's and some areas, like you're going to see, are just uh, quick and easy to do with only like little pinhole incisions, no bleeding, and really you don't need anesthesia for that even. Now, so, when you perform a liposuction, how much material are you removing? Well, if, if we're liposuctioning, say, the neck, you, you won't remove more than, say, 50 or 100 cc's, which is not that much. But I have removed, you know, a gallon, gallon and a half at a time from the tummy and from the hips and stuff. Wow. Wow. So it, it's how much you need. But we stop at a certain point, you know, because it's, you know, because of safety and, and that kind of thing. Now, what do you recommend? Do you do you tell people if they come in and get a free consultation from you, do you say yes. we recommend you trying diet and exercise to a certain level of first? Course. Or do you, they come in and, like, this is what I want to do, and you're like, okay, let's give it a go. Well, if you're at your best weight and you've tried and you've dieted and your weight has been stable, then we can do it. If if not, you know, if these things don't really turn out better if you're not as much overweight. We even have a diet plan to help you get to the weight you need to be to get it done. Okay. So you will have a target weight for even before the yeah. liposuction. Okay. Right. Right. Perfect. It was originally uh, designed in France, this operation, back in the 70s, and it was and still is the best thing for a localized bulge. It's not for somebody who's, you know, like grossly overweight. It's for somebody who has bulges where the fat is disproportionate. It's all about streamlining your body and making it, you know, making everything more proportionate. Mm -hmm. That's okay. what it is. Mm -hmm. So we today we want to focus on specifically the neck area, we which I never thought in a million years you could do that with liposuction. A young person who's a little, who's uh, who has a little extra stuff here. I haven't had it done myself. I had it done about ten years ago. I had. I used to be able to count like really high on how many chins I had, and I had. <laughs> <laughs> I was starting to lose count, so I got my lipo here. I put my jawline. I have to tell you, I hate the way I looked in the mirror. And when I looked in the mirror after it was done, I, that's how I know how happy plastic surgery can make you. So I had my neck and my How much jaws material was taken out of your neck? Oh, maybe 100, 150 cc's okay. of fat. I mean, like a lot on me, and I loved it. It, it did take about, um, took about a couple of months, though, for the skin to really shrink all the way. And that's the thing. You have the liposuction done. It does take a while right. for it to shrink up to where you yes. get your final results. Absolutely, it does. Okay. That's so, the trade-off for the eensy beansy incision that we make. Okay, so, what, so now who are we going to experiment on to, to show people what this is like? <laughs> who, indeed, who should we? What do you think? Now, what you're about to see to some people might be a little uncomfortable, so we just want to warn you. So yeah, if you, it's, if it's you, breakfast time. If you're so. squeamish, you, you might want to close one eye. Yeah. But okay. you want you still want to pay attention. You're going to want to see so this. this. Is me, <laughs> There's uh, Jason trying so to pick out what he wants to look like, giving the doctor some suggestions. And uh, Dr. Cherney, I guess uh, we'll let you kind of talk us through what's going on here. Well, there it is. We had this uh, little visit. We we did a preoperative design that showed where were the areas that we were going to suction it out. That's my that's my operating room. I got that nice little view the deer look in sometimes. There's some uh, there's some you know sterilization material for your face. And there Jason is fully awake. Oh yeah. Oh. No. Totally didn't. You, you, didn't even, you didn't even want the sedative pill that I no. offered you. And Did you, didn't you numb really them up it. there? Is that what you were doing there? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Just a novocaine shot, and that was that's actually the worst oh, part. Okay. Wow. Okay. Now look. But what we I see is this tiny pinhole. We're not seeing blood gushing or anything bad like that. No. We were just uh, passing that tube through, making little tunnels that the fat came out of. 
uh, the, the, the lipo procedure itself, uh, it, it couldn't have taken more than five minutes, if that. And then to keep the swelling down, they give you the old, what looks like the wisdom tooth wrap there. Yes, right. yes. And the nice, uh, the cute nurses haul you out and give you some ice and and there you go. Uh, you know, wow. like like a lot of procedures in any field of medicine, the worst part was the local anesthetic, the needles, but the lipo exactly. itself, uh, no problem, five minutes and, and uh, it's it really, hasn't been. When I was skinny, and, and right now I'm not at all skinny, but when I was skinny I still had this and my wife always said, you know, if you ever get anything done, get get that taken care of. And so I am very grateful. And, and my uh, I, it's, it's a great opportunity to educate people about what it's like. You actually look fabulous for only being like 10 days out. You already have a sculpted jawline and this is already a lot smaller. Yeah. But this is just your first taste. It's going to give it another month and you'll look way better. Actually. So this is going to continue to heal basically and tighten? Oh, Did absolutely. Draw down then? Oh, big time. It just really has just started to go down. You, our swelling actually peaks two, three days afterwards, and then it kind of gradually shrinks after that. So you're just getting the first taste of how awesome you're going to look. Now, does he have to do anything oh. else now? Does he have to put cream on it or anything like that afterwards? It's helpful to massage it, actually, but it's not, it's not mandatory, but it really helps a lot if you massage it. Have you been massaging your neck? Yeah, and I, I wear the, the strap at night. Um, That's and, great. And it, I mean, I'm that telling you, the recovery is really no big deal. It's, it's really no problem. I can't believe that you can't even see. You can't even see where it was. No. Anything. So the two holes are right right here and here, and, you know, you just, it, there's there's nothing there. They healed up right away. So, wow. yeah. Very, uh, very easy procedure, and, and, and of course, I'm grateful, and, and uh, uh, I, can, I can tell the difference already. Now, is there any Love harm, it. since you're dealing, you know, with, like, the throat area, arteries, anything that, that would be of a concern when you're well, doing that procedure? Totally, absolutely, yes. This is why you go to a board-certified plastic surgeon to do it, so you don't go to some cowboy. You go to somebody who knows <laughs> what the, knows where that stuff is, so they know to stay away from it. Okay, that's, that, oh, that's the it's deal. important. And yeah. I do want to oh, talk yeah. a, a bit about the staff there and, and how nice everyone is and how professional everyone is. And when you look around Dr. Cherney's office, and he'd never say this, but you see mm -hmm. all these uh, uh, City View awards and different awards that that, that indicate that, that people really think highly of him and as highly of him as I do and uh, they just take very good care of the people that, that go in and out of there. Now how long did that procedure take as a whole? Well you know it's, it's actually it was, uh, the paperwork actually takes longer than the operation I oh, would yeah. say. It was like it was like five minutes. Yeah really. the actual wow. going. That's crazy isn't <laughs> it? Yeah. That's, That's amazing. absolutely amazing. Uh, yeah. I All know right. but, but I realize it was a small area thing. I mean sometimes the lipo takes an hour or two if we're, if we're taking off like a lot from somebody's tummy and that kind of thing That's then it's more. But here this is a great alternative to make your face look younger and look better when you're young and you're, you're too young for like needing a facelift or anything like that but this crisped up your jawline really well and okay so this is uh, this is not a facelift then this is just nope. a little lipo yep and it achieves some of the same things in a young okay. person it answers a lot of questions right there. Yeah. That one statement, perfect. Yeah. Wow. All right, now people want to get more information on this, Doc. How do they get a hold of you? Oh, I'd, I'll be happy to meet uh, meet you and talk to you about it. I'll be at my office at Heartland Plastic Surgery on Hickman Road. There's my phone number and also my website. Heartland perfect. Yes. Heartlandps.com. You perfect. got it. There you go. Thank you. Good job, my friend. You guys. Are